All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we are answering the question, what kind of CRT can you buy from eBay for the $200 range? And hopefully it's one that arrives in a single piece and not just destroyed because of the poor packing. Wanted to show you this to begin with because this is not packed very well. Obviously we've got a used Amazon Prime box here. Definitely took a little bit of a ride and got a little bit dinged up so there's no <laughs> guarantees that this isn't going to be just broken into a hundred pieces. I do have my address blocked off and there isn't really much to show you on this box except for that it is reused and it's definitely took it a bit of a hit where it's been bent. UPS put some weight on top of the box so that's just pretty normal. Let's go ahead and open this thing and see uh, what we get inside. Now lately we've had some pretty good luck with shipping uh, CRTs and eBay purchases and I've been waiting for that luck to kind of run out and so one of these times we're gonna open and it will run out. Now this is this is a first. Um, I'm not sure exactly what this is. So we have Maybe some tinsel wrapping from Christmas. I mean, does that seem like a suitable packing material to you? <laughs> uh, no, it is not. And frankly, if this is broken, it's going to be an instant, an instant no from the insurance company. They're going to say, ha, will you call that packing to standards? No way. All right. So let's pull this out. Looks like the seller left us a nice note on top of here. I'm just going to rip this thing out. Look at all that. Goodness gracious. Christmas in August. All right. Have a great day, it says. And thank you for your purchase. Again, I won't be doxing myself there, but hey, at least they left, a, left us a nice letter there. And here's our CRT. <laughs> uh, back feels pretty solid power cable but the most important thing is going to be our front and our bottom oh my goodness okay power button seems okay i hear some loose plastic in there but hopefully that's just normal incidental stuff i can't believe it maybe somehow we got lucky again this is our pvm Definitely doesn't have screen burn, which is good. Let's get it inside and goodness gracious, try and test it out, see how it looks. All right, folks, here's the aftermath. Just wanted to show you again, look at this. This is not appropriate materials to be packing a CRT with. Do you imagine packing a CRT with tinsel and a used Amazon box? Guys, come on, we gotta do better eBay. You get lucky this time, maybe. All right, let's go test this thing, see how it looks. All right, everybody, now we're set up to run a test on our Sony PVM here. Now, first, before we do that, I do wanna let you know that this is not the model that I was advertised to be buying. If we go back and look at my eBay listing that I purchased this monitor from, it listed it as a PVM 1344Q. What we have here is actually a 1342Q, so it's not as good as the 44Q, it's pretty close. It's about as close as it could get besides being the 44Q. However, I don't know why this seller listed it as a 1344 unless they just thought that they could get more money for it if it was or if it was an honest mistake. I will definitely reach out to them and let them know that it was not labeled correctly. If it doesn't work right, then we'll try to get in and diagnose it and see what's going on and fix it up. We're gonna start by testing this thing with RGB from a Super Nintendo. It's plugged into the back and we're just gonna turn this on. I've already set the dials for RGB and we'll see if we get anything on screen and uh, let's just hope for the best. Okay, so we've definitely got a scrolling image there. I had it preloaded for the 240p test pattern. Let's see if V-hold, yep, there we go. So V-hold corrects that up. And look, it looks like we have a good, nice, solid image on this screen. Now it is a bit bright, so we can turn that down and the contrast down a little bit. It will need to be serviced for things like capacitor checks, power supply checks, and cleaned, I'm sure. 
and then it will need some adjustments. So that will all happen to this monitor, but I'm pretty happy overall considering the price I still paid for this at around $200 shift. I mean, a little bit over that, but again, this is one of those monitors that you can find generally for a better deal if it's untested. And the reason being is it's not an easy one to test. It does not have any on-screen menus and it's pretty difficult to get a signal into this unless you just have an S-Video device that outputs analog video and that you have handy to test this. So a lot of people do not have that when they come into possession of these, especially these recyclers. So it's a good one to look for. This particular one had been tested and shown to power on where the light indicator down here was turned on and shown, but that was it. But I want to say thank you to everybody for watching me today, and I will see you all next time with some more retro content.